They've gathered here before, united in their passion for change, but this time, fewer people are showing that passion. Where are they? I mean, today, Saturday. Come on out. Dale Carmel has marched the streets of Kennebunkport before. She says even though Americans are frustrated with the economy, they're not angry enough to speak up. With this gas thing, and it's not we have to change our ways. It's they have to go back to selling the public what they deserve, heating oil, food. Jail to the chief! She and a few dozen others brought that message through the streets and past vacationers in this coastal town ending here at Walker's Point to tell President Bush that attacking Iran would cause major economic hardship. This mess is going to be a problem for the American people for the rest of the world for many years to come. The country is not the same since he has been in his presidency for the past eight years. And uh, at this point, we're sort of teetering on the edge. And uh, uh, we really need uh, to have somebody in the White House that's going to dramatically change course from where we are right now. But President Bush has just months left in office. The demonstrators don't expect change until he is out of the White House. That will likely bring some peace to this town. Police Chief Joe Bruni has monitored protests here since George H.W. Bush was president. He says the issues have changed, and it will relieve a lot of tension to not have a current president visiting town. And I remember back in 92, we had the ACT UP demonstration that was centered around the, uh, the issues of AIDS. And remember back then, it wasn't as well known as it is now, and we had about 5,000 protesters back then. A far cry from this group who made their point and hope they don't have to march these streets again anytime soon. In Kennebunkport, Brian Yacono, News Center. President Bush arrived in town on Thursday. He'll spend tonight at Walker's Point, and he plans to leave the state tomorrow.